Hi, in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how you can extend an Enterprise One form with additional business view columns. You can then use these columns in personalization frameworks such as advanced queries, personal forms, or watch lists. This will help reduce your customization footprint to a great extent and allow your citizen developers to easily extend your Enterprise One solution at a low cost. In the next few steps, I'll show you how to add additional business view columns to an Enterprise One form by using the form extension user defined object or you do. We'll also take a look at some additional form extensibility features such as hiding, unhiding, renaming and resetting form controls and marking a field as a required field. We'll use the sales order entry application or P4210 for this demonstration. Let's assume that as a customer service representative for a pharmaceutical company, you'd like to see potency information for your orders on this form and use that in advanced queries. Even though the potency information is available in the business view, you can see that the customer service inquiry form does not display this information. Now I'll show you how you can add these columns easily using the form extension you do. You will no longer need the form design aid or FDA to add business view columns. To add the new columns on this form, we'll use the form extension you do. Note that unlike other UDOs, the form extension name is already auto-populated on the design panel. You cannot edit this field because only one form extension can exist for an Enterprise One form at any time. It is displayed in the format application ID underscore form ID. You can see the complete list of business view columns that are available for use on the form. Use the form and grid options to select and add the columns to the form header and the grid. Starting with tools release 9.2.5, you can add business view columns that are hidden in the form design aid to the grid. Let's select the grid option. You can search for the hidden columns by using hidden as the search string. You can identify these columns by hovering over them. Columns that are hidden in the FDA will have the hidden column in FDA flag set to true. First, let's add the committed column to the form header. To do that, let's search for the column using the data dictionary item name or description as the search query. The search is case insensitive. You can also perform a partial search. To add the column, you can either click the add form control button or drag and drop the column on the form. If you click the add form control button, the column is added to the default position or the top left corner of the form. Let's remove this column. We'll add it back later by dragging and dropping it on the form. Let's now drag and drop the column to the form header. Let's set the filter criteria for this field. Later, we want to use this field to search for soft committed orders. Next, we'll add the potency columns to the grid. Similar to what we saw earlier, you can use this button or drag and drop the column. If you click this button, the column is added as the last column on the grid. We'll drag and drop these columns to the grid. It's important to note that you cannot drag and drop hidden columns to the grid. To add a hidden grid column, you must use the add button. The column will be added to its position defined in the FDA. Let's save this form extension. After you save the form extension, you can request to have it published so that it can be shared with other users. Because only one form extension can exist for a form at a time, no other user can access it or edit it until the form extension is approved and shared. You can now see that the columns have been added to the form. Next, let's use these columns in an AQ or advanced query. We'll use the query manager to create our query. Let's define our query criteria. Let's save our query. Note the records on the grid. The system has executed the query that we created to retrieve these records. Now let's look at some additional form extensibility features. We'll see how you can hide and unhide a form control rename it, reset it to its original position, and mark a form control as a required field. To hide an existing form control, you can either use this button or right-click and select the hide option. 
To remove extended form controls, use the remove form control button. Let's hide this field. The hidden fields will be displayed in the extension only tab. To unhide this field, use this button. Next, let's rename a field. You can either select the rename label option from the context menu or double click the field to rename it. If you have repositioned a form control, you can reset it to its original position by using the reset option. Starting with tools release 9.2.5, you can mark a field as a required field in a form extension. To mark a field as a required field, right click the text field and select the mark as required checkbox. Let's save this form extension. You can see that the customer item field has been hidden. Also notice the new name for branch plant and the asterisk sign. For more information about form extensibility, visit us at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.